states, the Milky Way would still stretch coast to coast. Our asterisk universe is not just vast asterisk, it's asterisk constantly expanding. This phenomenon stretches the boundaries of our imagination and questions what we know about asterisk reality. The size of the cosmos is so massive that it's asterisk difficult to fully grasp. Even our most asterisk advanced scientific tools asterisk often feel basic when faced with the scale of the asterisk infinite. Despite the challenge, our asterisk curiosity drives us asterisk forward. Humans have always wanted to explore the unknown, and asterisk space asterisk is the ultimate unknown. Thanks to asterisk technological marvels asterisk like the asterisk James Webb Space Telescope asterisk, we're now closer than ever to unlocking the secrets of the universe. This telescope is more than a machine, it's a asterisk gateway to the past. It captures light that has traveled for asterisk billions of years asterisk, offering a glimpse of what the universe looked like long ago. We can now observe the asterisk birth of galaxies asterisk, the formation of stars, and even hints about how asterisk life might have begun. Since its launch, the telescope has provided an asterisk incredible stream of data. Scientists around the world, including experts like asterisk Brian Cox asterisk, are using it to rewrite what we thought we knew. What they're discovering is asterisk mind-blowing asterisk. The universe is even asterisk larger and stranger asterisk than we imagined. Within just the asterisk observable universe asterisk, the part we can actually detect, there are around asterisk 2 trillion galaxies. Think about that. 2 trillion asterisk galaxies, each filled with billions of stars and possibly even more asterisk planets. And that's just what we can see. Beyond our instrument's reach may lie an asterisk endless cosmic ocean asterisk, possibly stretching on asterisk forever. It's possible we exist in a asterisk limitless universe asterisk, a place without borders, extending in every direction. In the middle of all this cosmic vastness, it's important to remember that we are asterisk not separate from the universe asterisk, we are part of it. Every atom in our bodies was once inside an asterisk ancient star asterisk that exploded long before Earth formed. This means we are, quite literally, asterisk made of stardust. We are the asterisk universe becoming aware of itself asterisk, able to think, feel, and look back on our origins. When we look at the night sky, we're not just seeing stars, we're asterisk witnessing our own history. With the help of the asterisk James Webb Space Telescope asterisk, we are now on a journey of both asterisk discovery and connection. If you're fascinated by these mysteries, stick with us as we keep exploring this asterisk incredible cosmos. To understand the scale of space, let's compare it with something familiar, asterisk speed. At 70 miles per hour, the speed of a car, it would take you asterisk asterisk 15 days asterisk asterisk to drive around the Earth once. To reach the asterisk moon? You'd be driving for around asterisk asterisk 5 months asterisk without stopping. Heading to asterisk Mars asterisk at its closest distance from Earth would be a road trip lasting asterisk asterisk 63 years. Feeling bold enough for asterisk Neptune? Buckle up for asterisk asterisk 4400 year journey. And that's just inside our asterisk solar system. Now think about the asterisk Voyager 1 probe asterisk, which launched in 1977. It travels at a blazing speed of asterisk asterisk 38,000 mph. Even at that speed, it took asterisk asterisk 35 years asterisk to leave the solar system. That happened in asterisk asterisk 2012 asterisk asterisk, just imagine how far away the rest of the universe is. Let's consider asterisk light asterisk, the fastest thing in existence. It can asterisk circle the earth seven times in one second. Light from the asterisk sun asterisk takes about asterisk asterisk eight minutes asterisk to reach earth. Light from asterisk alpha centauri asterisk, the closest star system, takes asterisk asterisk 4.3 years. So when we see Alpha Centauri, we're actually seeing it asterisk as it was four years ago. If Voyager 1 headed toward Alpha Centauri, it would take asterisk around 77,000 years asterisk to get there. Now let's go deeper. Asterisk Betelgeuse asterisk, a red supergiant star, is asterisk asterisk 640 light years away. That means we see Betelgeuse asterisk as it looked in the 1400s asterisk asterisk, 
before the asterisk Americas were even discovered by Europeans. When we look into space, we're also looking asterisk into the past asterisk, every distant object is a snapshot of a different time. And it's not just what we see. For over 100 years, we've been sending asterisk radio signals asterisk out into space. These signals now form a growing asterisk bubble of human communication asterisk, reaching about asterisk asterisk 15,000 star systems. That sounds like a lot, but it's barely anything compared to the asterisk asterisk 300 billion stars asterisk in our asterisk Milky Way galaxy asterisk alone. To picture our place, shrink the entire asterisk solar system asterisk down to the size of a asterisk coin. On that scale, the Milky Way would still stretch from asterisk coast to coast across the US. We are just a asterisk tiny part of something unimaginably large asterisk, and yet we're learning more every day. Asterisk subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching. Asterisk asterisk.